Imagine that Kim Woo Jin did not make it in mm -hmm. to either of those matches. Yeah, I'm... Maybe that's the biggest surprise of all. It is a big surprise. I was expecting him after his score and his statement that he was going to be in a gold medal match. Here in the bronze medal match, Kikuchi Hideki back out after participating in the mixed team competition. Mr. Hideki has 676 in qualifying this week, 34 tens, six X tens. Defeated David Pasqualucci 6-4 and then lost to Miguel Alvarino 6-2 in the semifinals. 30 years old, ranked 56th in the world. Six World Cup medals to his credit so far in his career. And he'll need a great performance today against Kuban Shan of Korea, who qualified with a 685, 40 10, 17 10 Xs. Had a 7 3 win over Marcus Dalmeida, a 6 2 win over Wei Chung Heng of Chinese Taipei before losing a tiebreaker to Brady Ellison. Shot an 8 in the tiebreaker. Uh, and that's surprising. That is, but you can't do that against Brady, unfortunately. And uh, that probably sealed the deal right there. So Kuban Chan, 23 years old, fifth in the world, member of the Olympic team for Korea, heading towards Rio. An Olympic team, by the way, which does not include Ojin Yek or Im Dong Yun. The only returning archer from the previous Olympics is Kibo Bay. And that's it. And she'll defend her title. Yeah. And there's something about the Olympics that brings out the best in everybody, and I think she'll be a little bit hard pressed. She will. I, I don't think she had a great week here. Um, just uh, with her score, she wasn't ranked first or anything in the qualification round, and she's not in any of the, uh, the she wasn't matches. In any medal yeah. matches or anything. So uh, I, I've seen some coaches working with her pretty diligently while we were on the practice field. So she might be just going through one of those small rough times before a big competition that a lot of athletes will eventually experience in their life. And uh, she'll probably push through. She's she a very did good shoot team. well in the team yes. competition. Yeah. Right now, Kuban Chan off to a fast start. Kikuchi trying to catch him. And that's not going to do it. Luckily, we've got set play, and he's probably just laughing and saying, oh, well, the practice range was definitely different. Move my sight, carry on. 10, 10, 10. Yes. Yes. The trifecta. And I think that's the first 30 we've seen from any individual archer coming straight off the practice field going into the first set. And we have to explain here, Crispin, that that practice field is uh, to the north. And it's also, you're shooting from the north to the south, where here we're shooting west to east. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. It is a little different. Uh, that, that will play with the lighting, that will play with the wind. Uh, the ground over on the practice field is just regular ground, whereas what you're standing on here is uh, a platform. Plush carpeting. Plush carpet. It's actually very plush. It I is was, plush. I was surprised at how much I was sticking to it with my <laughs> uh, kind of hiking type shoes. But it's, it's a completely different setup. But if you've already been out to this field, you kind of know where your site is supposed to be, and that's where that's how Ku has done it, I think, because he's already been out here for the team round. We've got Dean Alberga trying to get some good photos, and he always provides great shots of archers in their natural habitat. He's always in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he is. And 90% of the time, you don't even know he's there. That's the key. It's the mark of a great photographer. And a good shot by Kikuchi Hideki of Japan, who has not meddled outdoors or indoors since 2014. Wow. W-O-W. -W. Shadows growing across the field now, and flat lighting on that target face. And Kuban Chan proves he is immortal. And there was a big sigh coming from the crowd. I'm kind of laughing at that because I think people wanted him to shoot another 10, but... Uh, yes! A little bit of disappointment, yeah. yeah. A little bit of disappointment, but I mean, it's still... It's still great shooting. Needs a 10 to win, though. 
<laughs> Got a nine, splits the set, and leads three to one. I think that last shot kind of surprised him. He kind of shot it and went, oh, and it was a low shot. And, you know, in relative terms for him, that was a very low shot. But it's still gold, and he still was able to tie the set. You know, when you're sitting here watching somebody reel off four, five, six, eight tens in a row, you think, well, it's automatic. And yeah. then you're surprised when they miss one. But each shot is different, and each shot has its variables, right? Yeah, well, each shot's not supposed to be different from the one that you've done before. But that being said, your external variables will exactly. change. Exactly. And uh, the people with the strong mental game will have all the internal variables staying the same, which is what's really important. Kuban Chan with a 3-1 lead. Mr. Ku with two team gold medals at the World Championships in Copenhagen last summer. Has six outdoor World Cup medals, including a team gold medal in Medellin two years ago. Has himself a 3-1 lead over Kikuchi Hideki. That's a very good shot. Who drills it? Kikuchi. Down that sweet spot. And Kuban Chan does not match. Kikuchi is now leading. Now let's see how he handles this situation. Pretty well. However, a 10 right here would tie it up. Instead, Whoa. and you can hear that kind of ripple through the crowd. I think I was part of that. <laughs> 19 17. He can put this set away. Nine will take it. That's a 10. So the plot doth thicken. Kikuchi Hideki has captured this set, regardless of the score on that shot by Kuban Chan. A three point victory in the set, two points awarded to Kikuchi Hideki, and this match tied up at three apiece. So much like the women's bronze medal match between Tanya Ting and Gwendolina Sartori that went back and forth, this one showing signs of being a seesaw battle as well. Uh, we're tied at three, so now it's still anybody's game. And it pretty much always is until it's finished. But, um, I mean, what the coaches are, like especially the Korean coach there, is probably just telling him, you know, just keep, your, keep yourself controlled, keep yourself relaxed, and just do it like you do. And I know a lot of uh, Korean archers that will step up to the line and the coaches and their other teammates will be saying Chashinike, which pretty much roughly translate to like, do it as you do, um, or like you know how. And I mean, Team Japan, uh, Kikuchi is a very strong shooter. I remember watching him shoot a team round back at the 2009 uh, World Championships in Korea. And I mean, I remember have, watching him and noting that he had a very consistent, very strong shot. And he still does. I think he had a little bit of a waiver in the mixed team earlier today, but I think he's learned from that and not going to let that happen again. Kuban Chan comes fighting back. Now, Kikuchi's no stranger to the podium. He picked up the gold medal at stage one in Shanghai back in 2014. Determined look on his face, but he trails by one in the set. Tied up at three all in the match. And a chance now for Kikuchi Hideki to tie it up. Ooh. Instead, falls further behind. He looks like he's got kind of a little bit more of a rough shot than he normally does. So I think he's just a little nervous. And that's a good shot. He's a little nervous and, and uh, he's coming off the string a little rough. So I would like to see him just relax. That was a, yeah. That shot I was predicting was gonna be low because his hand looked like it came forward like a microsecond before he released that string, which gave it a little bit less tension, a little less poundage, which makes the arrow hit low, which is why it's a low nine. And I mean, I know that some people would probably say that that looked like a good shot, but when you've seen, I've seen him shoot a lot and um, I just, I just found, I just felt that that shot was going to be low. So what Kikuchi really needs to do is just relax. And like what I always say, it's exactly the same 
thing you do day in and day out. There's no reason to do anything special. And my sports psych always says, don't insult your body by telling it what to do. At this stage, it's absolutely true. You don't need to tell yourself what to do. You just need to go out and actually perform and do it. Just stick to your plan and execute. And every time, pretty much 100% of the time, it will work. That being said, Crispin Duenas of Canada. By the way, I'm Carl Arkey. He's Crispin Duenas. It's tough to play with a lead. I think in any sport, it is tough to play with a lead. And that's... and that. That, that goes along with what you've been talking about, the mental game. Yeah, and uh, archery is becoming more and more and more a mental game as it progresses in time, I should say. That'll do wonders for his psyche. It does. It's, it's great when you're on one of those fields and you just shoot a 10 and you say, okay, I just, I'm, I'm up or I'm leading. That's a great wow, thing what for a shot. Kikuchi Terrific as well. shot. Strikes gold with that one and shows how competitive Kikuchi Hideki is. Not backing down from Kuban Chan, but he's not backing down either. And Kikuchi needs to shoot a 10 to force Kuban Chan to at least hold gold for the next shot. Nine, so an eight to win for Kikuchi. Uh, sorry, for Kuban Chan. If you were a betting man, He'll do it. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, how much are you putting down? Put down some money. <laughs> <laughs> Should have put your money down. Should have put it down. <laughs> but Kubon Chan is the one who put it down. He went out as he came in with a 30, and a very, very strong shooting from Kubon Chan. He had one end, sorry, set that was a little bit of a hiccup for him, which was the 989. But other than that, he's been 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 9, 8, 9, 10, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. His arrow average is really good for this match. So just that third set that got away from him, which he surrendered to uh, Kikuchi Hideki. It was tied at three all after three sets, but then Kuban Chan rallies, wins the next two sets, and wins the match, going away by the score of seven to three. But great effort by Kikuchi Hideki, who will take home the bra, excuse me, will not take home a medal. But hopefully some good memories from here in South America.